നമസ്കാരം വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ദ ഫോർത്ത് ലെക്ചർ ഓൺ ലാപ്ലൈസ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ദീസ് ആർ ദ സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്രീവിയസ് ഹോംവർക്ക് ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ഹെവി സൈഡ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ലാപ്ലൈസ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ഓഫ് ഹെവി സൈഡ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ സെക്കൻഡ് ഷിഫ്റ്റിംഗ് തിയറും ഇവാലുവേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ലാപ്ലൈസ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം യൂസിംഗ് സെക്കൻഡ് ഷിഫ്റ്റിംഗ് തിയറും ഓക്കെ ദ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് യൂണിറ്റ് സ്റ്റെഫ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഈസ് യു എഫ് ടി മൈനസ് എ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഫോർ ടി ലെസ് ദാൻ എ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ഫോർ ടി ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ എ സപ്പോസ് ഈ പ്ലോട്ട് ദിസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ If t less than a, then the function value is 0. If t is greater than a, the function value is 1. You may consider this as a switch off and switch on function. That is when t less than a, it is in off mode. And when t greater than a, it is in on mode. Thus, unit step function behaves like a switch. So you can use heavyside function to model situations involving switch off and switch on. Next we will see how heavyside function can switch on and switch off another function f of t. Consider t square. Next we consider y is equal to t square into u of t minus 1. When t less than 1, u of t minus 1 is 0. So the product t square into u of t minus 1 is also 0. When t greater than 1, u of t minus 1 become 1. So the product t square into u of t minus 1 become t square. We can visualize this as t square is controlled by a switch. So using unit step function, you can control a function. In the sense that you can turn off and turn on a function with respect to a reference point. That is a function is in off mode before the reference point and in on mode after the reference point. So in general, f of t into u of t minus a equal to 0 when t less than a and equal to f of t when t is greater than a. Next, we will discuss a property of difference of unit step functions. Consider u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 2. This is u of t minus 1. It is 0 when t less than 1 and 1 when t greater than 1. This is u of t minus 2. It is 0 when t less than 2 and 1 when t is greater than 2. So what about this difference? If t is less than 1, both are 0. So their difference is also 0. If t is greater than 2, both are 1. So their difference is again 0. If t is in between 1 and 2, then the first function is 1, but the second function is 0. So their difference is 1. That means the difference function has value 1 only when t lies between 1 and 2. Otherwise, it is 0. That is the difference of two unit step functions is like a switch. But this switch is turned on only in a finite interval. In this example, the switch is on in the interval 1 to 2. So in general, u of t minus a minus u of t minus b will be turned on only in the interval a b. That is when t less than a, its value is 0. If t is in between a and b, the difference is 1. If t is greater than b, the difference is 0. So in general, u of t minus a minus u of t minus b will be turned on only in the interval a b. Suppose we have to turn on t square in the interval 1 2 and 6 minus t in the interval 3 4. This problem involves two switches t square into switch 1 plus 6 minus t into switch 2. Then what is switch 1 and switch 2? Okay, it is clear that switch 1 is u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 2 and switch 2 is u of t minus 3 minus u of t minus 4. If we plot this function, then we get t square is active only in the interval 1, 2, 6 minus t is active only in the interval 3, 4 and 0 in the rest of the interval. Similarly, you can turn off and turn on any function in any interval. Another important application of heavyside function is in deep learning, which is one of the methods in machine learning. That means machine can learn using deep learning. In deep learning, there is a function called activation function. There are many activation functions and some of them are unit step function, sigmoid function and relu function. In machine learning, one of the important aspect is the learning rate. That is how fast a machine can learn. 
in some deep learning problems if heaviside function is used as activation function then machine can learn faster than using other activation functions find the laplace transform of unit step function u of t minus a by definition l of unit step function is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st u of t minus a dt when t less than a u of t minus a becomes 0 so this integral become integral a to infinity e raised to minus st 1 dt then integral of e raised to minus st is e raised to minus st by minus s a to infinity when t equal to infinity and if s is positive then first part is 0 so this becomes 0 minus e raised to minus s a by minus s where s is positive so this is equal to e raised to minus a s by s and s is positive so laplace transform of unit step function is e raised to minus a s by s where s is positive next one second shifting theorem if l of f of t equal to f of s then l of f of t minus a into u of t minus a equal to e raised to minus a s into l of f of t that is equal to e raised to minus a s into f of s this is equal to l inverse of e raised to minus a s into f of s equal to f of t minus a into u of t minus a where this f of t f of t is l inverse of f of s next one the proof of second shifting theorem consider l of f of t minus a into u of t minus a by definition this is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t minus a into u of t minus a dt but this u of t minus a is 0 when t is less than a and u of t minus a equal to 1 when t is greater than 1 so this integral become integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t minus a 1 dt then we substitute a new variable u equal to t minus a then this integration become integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus this t become u plus a and t minus a become u and this dt is du so integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus s into u plus a f of u du then e raised to minus s a is constant with respect to u so take outside so this is equal to e raised to minus s a into integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus s u f of u du this is a definite integral so whatever be the variable its integral value remains same so this is laplace transform of f of t so this is equal to e raised to minus a s into l of f of t that is equal to e raised to minus a s into f of s next one find the laplace transform of 3 times u of t minus 2 into cos t minus 2 since l is linear this can be written as 3 times l of u of t minus 2 into cos t minus 2 by second shifting theorem this is equal to 3 times e raised to minus 2s into l of cos t this is equal to 3 times e raised to minus 2s into s by s square plus 1 this is the answer next one write the following function using unit step function hence evaluate its laplace transform you can write f of t as e raised to t into u of t minus 0 minus u of t minus 2 this is equal to e raised to t into 1 minus u of t minus 2 this is equal to e raised to t minus e raised to t into u of t minus 2 this is equal to e raised to t minus e raised to t minus 2 plus 2 into u of t minus 2 this is equal to e raised to t minus e raised to 2 into e raised to t minus 2 into u of t minus 2 therefore l of f of t equal to l of e raised to t minus e raised to 2 into l of e raised to t minus 2 into u of t minus 2 this is equal to 1 by s minus 1 minus e raised to 2 into by second shift in theorem 
this is equal to e raised to minus 2s into Laplace transform of e raised to t. This is equal to 1 by s minus 1 minus e raised to 2 into e raised to minus 2s into 1 by s minus 1. This is equal to 1 minus e raised to 2 into 1 minus s whole divided by s minus 1. So this is the answer. Next problem. Using linearity property, the one problem can be written as L inverse of e raised to minus 2s into pi by s square plus pi square plus 5 times L inverse of e raised to minus s by s square plus pi square. We consider the first portion that is L inverse of e raised to minus 2s pi by s square plus pi square. Here f of s is equal to pi by s square plus pi square. Then by second shift in theorem, this is equal to u of t minus 2 into f of t minus 2, where f of t equal to L inverse of f of s that is equal to L inverse of pi by s square plus pi square. This is equal to sin pi t. This term become u of t minus 2 into f of t minus 2. f of t is sin pi t. So this become sin pi into t minus 2. The second term is L inverse of e raised to minus s by s square plus pi square. In the second term, f of s is equal to 1 by s square plus pi square. Therefore, f of t equal to L inverse of f of s. That is equal to L inverse of 1 by s square plus pi square. This is equal to sin pi t by pi. So, by second shift in theorem, this term L inverse of e raised to minus s by s square plus pi square is equal to u of t minus 1 into f of t minus 1. Here f of t equal to sin pi t by pi. So this is equal to u of t minus 1 into sin pi into t minus 1 divided by pi. So combining these two, the final answer is u of t minus 2 into sin pi into t minus 2 plus 5 times u of t minus 1 sin pi into t minus 1 all divided by pi. This is the answer. Next problem. Okay, in this problem, f of s is 1 by s plus 2 whole square. So f of t equal to L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 whole square. By first shifting theorem, this is equal to e raised to minus 2t into L inverse of 1 by s square. This is equal to e raised to minus 2t into t. So here f of t equal to e raised to minus 2t into t. So by second shifting theorem, this is equal to u of t minus 3 into f of t minus 3. This is equal to u of t minus 3 into e raised to minus 2 into t minus 3 into t minus 3. So this is the answer. You should solve all these problems for the better understanding of the concept. See you soon with the next lecture of Laplace transform. Thank you.